Hi guys, welcome to another session of study PPC. Today we're going to look at how to create a dynamic search ad campaign. A dynamic search ad is basically an ad in which the headline is dynamically created by Google algorithm. The algorithm looks at the user's search query and the website content and based on which it creates a headline for the ad. So let's begin with the process of how to create this campaign. In order to create this campaign, we are going to create a new campaign altogether. And we're going to choose a goal for this campaign. Let's say it is sales. Now this is going to be a search campaign. So I'm going to choose the campaign type as search. And let's say the way to reach this goal would be website visits. We can give the website URL out here. And we can continue. The process is going to be very simple wherein we are going to create a simple search campaign and we're going to give all the details regarding it. So we're going to start doing that. We are going to run this campaign only in the search network. So I'm unselecting display from here. You can give your location targeting. Let's say for this campaign, I'm keeping it as India. You can also set your language settings. You can give a budget for this campaign and you can set the bidding strategy as well. Let's say for this campaign, we are keeping it as maximize conversions. You also can add some ad extensions to this campaign, which will run along with your dynamic search ad. After this, we can save this continue and we are going to the ad group level. Now in the ad group level, what is going to happen is we are going to create a specific kind of an ad group. Okay, so for this particular for dynamic search ads specifically, the ad group type, as you can see, we have to change this to dynamic with the help of this only, we would be able to create a dynamic search ad. So you can switch over here. Now, in order to create this dynamic search ad, the first thing which is required is the website URL. So you have to provide the domain of your, your, of your business. So you can fill that over here because that is the main website which Google algorithm will crawl to understand the content of your website and based on which the ads can be created. So you provide that and you can say update. And now what you will get is there are three different ways by which you can give information regarding your website. So what the business does is the first option which you get is wherein they have some recommended categories for your website based on the algorithm, based on the domain which you have provided, they give you with certain options over here to choose from which might be relevant to your business. So you can choose that over here. That's one way of doing it. The other one is specific websites, which basically means that uh, you can give URLs of similar websites relevant to your business over here, which gives an idea to the Google algorithm about what business you do. Like for example, if I am into a business of selling shoes, then I can give website URLs like nike.com or reebok.com over here, which tells the Google algorithm that my business is also similar like Nike or Reebok. So we can give the URL over here. The other option, the last option which you have over here is uh, you can straight away just tell the Google algorithm to check your website out for understanding your business, which would be the most accurate way of running this particular campaign. So in this case, what happens is the Google algorithm will only check your website. It will crawl only your website to understand your website's content and based on which it is going to create the ad. Once you have specified this, we can save and continue and we'll reach the dynamic search ad creation page. On this page now, as you can see on the left panel, we have, you can't provide your headlines or final URL or display URL because those are dynamically generated by the Google algorithm. Only what you have to do is you have to provide the descriptions which you can give and explain a lot more about your business. So we are going to do that.
provide as much information as you can because that would help to increase the probability of people clicking on your ads. And now you can see this is how the ad is going to look like. Okay, uh, the preview on mobile device and this is how it is going to be on desktop. So what's going to happen is this is how you as an advertiser is seeing the ad. But when the ad goes live, it will come across as a sim as a normal text ad coming up on mobile devices and desktop. Once you have created the ad, you can say done and you can save this campaign. So now as you can see, the campaign is ready to be published. So now as you can see, we have created a dynamic search ad campaign. That's uh, my campaign's name is dynamic search Jan 2nd. And the ad group I have created over here is ad group 2, which is a dynamic ad group. Now, if you go inside the ad group, you will find that we have chosen all web pages, which basically means my websites, all web pages will be crawled by the Google algorithm to understand the content of my business and based on which the ad will be created. Also, if you go to the ads and extensions tab on the left panel, you will see the dynamic ad which we have created, which looks like this and which has gone under review. Once the ad is approved by Google, this particular campaign will go live. Okay, Google takes like one business day to check your ads by which they will let you know whether the ad is approved or disapproved and based on which you can run the campaign. I hope this video was useful and you can understand how to create a dynamic search campaign now onwards. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and like and share my video as much as you can. Thank you so much guys for today.